Hey friends, so it's Monday morning, 8.45 a.m. I'm sitting in my car, in a garage, in the dark. It's cold and raining outside. The sky is gray, and it's just kind of a ugh, kind of weather day, right? Got to wear the coat, all that stuff going on. And I still am so excited that, uh, that we ha I have this day to be able to do something amazing with. And you have a choice every single morning. When you get up, do you think, oh, how am I going to get through the day? Or do you get excited about, you know what, I get a day, a fresh, clean slate to do something amazing, right? To bring value to the lives of those around me, to lift people up, to work on a goal that I've been working on and figure out a way to crush it, to get through an obstacle or a pain or a struggle that you're having and figure out a way to get through it, under it, over it, around it, because it makes you stronger, it makes you wiser, it makes you more resilient, this is a gift. So I don't know if you've ever noticed, but it seems to me, and uh, you know, it might be just my mind making stuff up, but um, whenever somebody passes away, it seems to happen in threes, right? It seems like uh, somebody passes away and then two more people pass away um, that I know, right? Or that are around me in some way. And I had that happen recently. And um, it's happened a couple times this year, people that I've known um, or have known as a, um, you know, I didn't know them directly, but I knew their um, siblings or their parents or whoever it may be. And, um, you know, so every time that happens, what I think about is not dying. I think about, am I really living? Am I really uh, making the most out of today? Or am I complaining about the things that are going on? Uh, am I looking at today as a gift uh, where I get to live and I get to do something special and you know, and maybe it's just an ordinary day and, you, and you know, something special to me might be, how can I add some value to somebody's life? How can I smile? How can I hold the door open? How can I let somebody in traffic, right? How can I smile and say hi to somebody and look them in the eye and give them my full attention and presence? It doesn't have to be like I'm going on vacation or I'm going to the other side of the world or, you know, it doesn't have to be something grand. I think that uh, finding pleasure in something small is very powerful, Right. And just being able to look at today and say, hey, today I'm going to contribute today. I'm going to find some way to do some things so that at the end of the day, I can smile and say, you know what? I did a good job today. Uh, today, I added some value today. I served today. I was mindful of how other people were feeling around me. And I tried to do something to lift them up because the fastest way to feel good about yourself is to serve and to add value uh, to the lives of other or to others or to this world. Uh, you know, you can, if you're out there trying to just get things done, if you're out there checking things off your to-do list, if you're out there trying to make more money, uh, if you're out there trying to transform your body or your health uh, or your relationships, all of that is wonderful. These are all um, experiences. They're all uh, ways that we can grow, right? It's like it's kind of like God sets up this situation and now you get to grow through that situation, right? Or you set a goal and then it's not the goal, it's who you have to become to achieve that goal. That is, those are the circumstances, those are the opportunities, those are the uh, situations. It's the story that allows you, ooh, light turned off. It's the story that allows you, there we go, we have light again. <laughs> It's the story that allows you to fully grow and become the person that you were meant to be. And so this is, uh, you know, you have a choice. So I got up this morning and uh, my son forgot something. So I had to take it to his school and I get outside and it's gray outside. It's getting ready to rain. It's early morning and there's a bunch of clouds. And then there's this one line of light that reached across the sky. It was just beautiful. And uh, it was so inspiring. And I looked at it. And again, it was, I don't know, it was, I just took it, we, we can give meaning to anything, right? And because I've trained myself to find the silver lining in any dark cloud, uh, you know, because I've reminded myself daily that no matter how dark the sky is, the sun is shining on the other side of it. And even if we can't see it, we know it's there. And in order for you to see something uh, show up in your life, you have to see it first in your mind, you have to believe it's there. And so I've trained myself to think in this way. And uh, because I did not start out as, you know, a positive thinker, I was very nervous and anxious and was always scared and always focused on, you know, the worst thing happening. So over the years, I've trained myself 
to find that silver lining. And so I'm looking at it. And to me, it meant that even though, uh, you know, it's the weather's not that great, uh, I can find the light in any dark room, right? I can find the silver lining if I look for it. And whatever I look for hard enough, my brain's going to find it. And so it reminded me that today I can show up on a Monday and say, oh, God, I can't wait till Friday, which is a lousy attitude. Or I can say, you know what? Today is awesome. It's a gift. I'm excited. I'm fired up. I'm motivated. What can I do to make this great? And then, of course, my brain says, all right, what are three things that I can do that would get me to a goal that I have as fast as possible? And that's how I prioritize the day because I've got a million things and you got a million things going on in your life too. What are two or three things that you can do that would get you um, that feeling of joy or that um, closer to your goal or whatever it is? What are three things that you could do? Even if you just had one thing, just one thing that if you could just really nail that down, it would catapult you towards your goal and then focus on that one thing. And you're gonna have lots of distractions, lots of other things are gonna come up. But if you can stay focused on that one thing and create urgency, and don't let all the other small things that show up as emergencies distract you. Now, sometimes I understand you have to, but then you get right back on course. But you focus on that one thing that you need to get done, and it would get you to your goal faster than anything else. And it helps prioritize your time. And it makes you feel like you are gonna make progress because you're focusing on the thing that's most important for you. And sometimes that one thing is hard. Sometimes that one thing makes you uncomfortable. But it's usually in those places that make you the most uncomfortable, that's your biggest opportunity for growth. That's where you can really make a breakthrough if you focus on that one area. Scott Peck, Dr. Scott Peck, who wrote uh, the series of books called The Road Less Traveled, that's what he say. He'd say it's the road less traveled that makes all the difference. And for you, being able to focus on the areas where you've been putting off, procrastinating, you don't want to do it, if you go there intentionally, you will have a transformation. That's where your biggest breakthroughs are hidden, just waiting for you to grab them. And so look at today as a day where you're going to say, you know what, I'm not going to get just through the day. I'm going to get from today. I'm not going to survive today. I'm going to thrive from today because today is a gift. And it really is. And it might sound cliche or mushy, but today really is a gift because we don't know if we have it tomorrow. It's not guaranteed. So if today's your last day and you have one opportunity to play full out and to really live, and as uh, Brendan Machard would say, are you living? Are you loving? Are you mattering? Are you making a difference? Right? We have one day to be able to really shine and step up and do things that uh, make us feel like today uh, we play full out. You know, we we played full out, right? You didn't leave anything uh, left. You didn't hold back. You put it all out on the field and uh, and you can smile knowing that you did something good, right? You smile because you know that you uh, gave it all you had. You smile because you were really kind today to others or you smiled because you were really kind to yourself or you're able to smile before you go to sleep tonight because you know that you did that one thing or you worked really hard towards it and you made some progress today. As long as you do any of those things, then today was worth it, right? And today you made it worth it and you should feel proud of yourself. Now imagine living that way every single day. Imagine what your life can become. Imagine how extraordinary it can be. There is no goal that you cannot achieve if you keep living in this way. With drive and purpose, being intentional, being passionate, and being clear on what's going to help you to create your biggest breakthroughs. Too many people focus on their excuses. Forget about the excuses. Excuses, you know, fear, F-E-A-R, finding excuses and reasons. Whatever you look for hard enough, you're going to find. So you can look for excuses and you'll find a million of them. What if you found excuses to succeed? What if you found excuses to excel? What if you found excuses to follow through? What if you found excuses to clarify, prioritize, and then execute on whatever it is, that one thing that's going to get you where you want to be? If you do that, you're going to get you're going to find your way, right? If you don't know how, the how will find you. If you have a big enough why that makes you cry, right? If you have a big enough reason to uh to move forward and to achieve your goal, you will find the how. The how will find you. You just take that first step and start moving in that direction and the next step will come tap you on the shoulder and say, "Here's what we do next," right? If you're not sure about that, test it. Find out. I have. I've been testing it for 20 years. And guess what? It, it keeps showing up. The how keeps showing up and it will for you too. So anyway, greet today with passion. Look at it as a gift. Get excited about it. 
be passionate about it. Focus on what it is that you want to do today, what would be most important for you, what would be a big breakthrough, and then take the first step towards going after it and moving in that direction, and you'll be glad you did. And then you wake up every morning saying, ah, today's my day, and I'm expecting something magical to happen today. And that becomes your mantra. Today's my day, and I'm expecting something magical to happen today. And as you keep saying today's your day and something magical is going to show up, then guess what you start looking for and guess what starts happening for you every day. Thanks so much. Make today count. Make it a sure success. Talk to you soon.